Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for this month in regards to your love and romance. Your first card here is the Six of Wands, Five of Wands. Wow, Nine of Wands, a lot of Wands, Fire Energy, the World card, the Fool card, the Hermit, the Sun, wow, the Hanged Man, the Five of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, Magician right at the bottom. All right, so right at the center, we have the Hermit card. A lot of you guys, um, if you feel like you've been single for quite a while, I think that it has a lot to do, of course, what everyone is currently going through, um, you know in regards to globally what we're experiencing and quarantine and all of that. Um, but what Spirit is telling you is that the time to be secluded is coming to a conclusion and it's coming very quickly. So for a lot of you guys, I think that we're not only talking about options here, but we're also talking about being ignited, like your spark being ignited and being even like extremely excited and positive about the future, about love. Um, so right at the center, we have the hermit, which is being very, like very secluded, very private going within. I feel that Sagittarians have been going through a lot of healing. And if you didn't take it the positive way for a lot of you guys, it was a lot of toxic behavior and having to deal with the consequences of that. But the positive thing here is you go from the hermit to the sun. So it's night and day, basically. With the sun, the sun is all about exposure. It's all about being ignited, being inspired, being childlike. Uh, we have the world card. So the struggles and the difficulties in regards to love and romance are finally coming to a conclusion. For a lot of you guys, the six of wands speaks about being confident and believing in yourself. A lot of you guys have gone through a lot of difficult situations when it comes to partnership, especially when it comes to dealing with toxic energies. And I think that for the past two years, Sagittarians have been experiencing like a purging of that. And perhaps that has a lot of the reasoning uh, be behind becoming very secluded or um, being away from people that you were naturally or gen like generally around. Um, perhaps for some of you guys, you took on like even creating or building new friendships because you wanted to pull away from that energy, that past energy. Now with the Six of Wands is feeling victorious, feeling strong about the future, being strong and excited about your love life. With the Five of Wands, fives always speak about inner struggles, but with the Five of Wands here, it's almost like people will start to want to get your attention. It's like, uh, it, it's almost this energy that I'm seeing for Sagittarians, like your energy is extremely strong like vibrating to the highest of your frequency. You guys are being your natural selves, being more on the spotlight, like being your natural organic self, which is childlike type of energy, uh, very playful, very optimistic, very positive. Keep in mind, you guys, you do have um, Jupiter in alignment right now, Jupiter in Saturn. So what that that's your ruling planet, Jupiter. And what Jupiter does is, bear gifts especially if it's your ruling planet which it is Sagittarius so you're gonna start to see literally the world start to open up for you bring to you new opportunities bring to you new suitors new people that are interested in you uh, with the hanged man again and the hermit there is a need for you to take course of action meaning stop being so secluded stop being so antisocial. you have to um, put yourself out there and and of course like I said keep in mind because of what we're going through right now, this could be something that you're experiencing because of the, you know, the quarantine that everyone is doing right now, etc. But what Spirit is telling you is once this phase is over, once we come to its conclusion, there is going to be a need for you to uh, be more social, be more proactive in putting yourself out there, not for other people, but to help yourself uh, raise your vibration to feel more like yourself. You guys are extremely social Sagittarians. So again, it's that of stop being secluded. It's time to take course of action, being more, uh, making more movement towards 
the creating or the desire or the manifestation of bringing towards you a long-term relationship. Now, you do have the Five of Cups here with the Hanged Man. So for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, um, there is a feeling of empowerment. And I feel that by the end of April going into May, uh, you're going to believe more in yourself, Sagittarius. And you're going to start to notice like your partner bringing up certain conversations about uh, that speak highly of the, the lack of trust that they have in you. Um, whether it be in finances, whether it be in business, whether it's you talking to them about an idea or something that's coming to you that you're wanting to pursue. And it's almost like they're going to be very negative. They're going to be like, oh, you always start something, but you never finish it or anything like that uh, along those lines. And what Spirit is telling you is don't let anyone diminish your life, Sagittarius. Go after what you really want to do. Make it happen. Stop doubting yourself. All right. You got to believe more in yourself. And again, if you feel that your partner is being extremely negative, it's OK to come to the understanding that we outgrow relationships and partners. If the person that you're with doesn't have faith in you, uh, is not there to encourage you to build yourself up, to build your self-esteem, if they're not doing that and instead they're trying to belittle you, they're trying to um, basically keep you, you know, in the bottom of their thumb, uh, so to speak. And just keep in mind that it has a lot to do with their insecurities and the fear of you being exposed to better people, you being exposed to a better lifestyle, you being exposed to things that you deserve, Sagittarius, that scares the bejesus out of them. And it could be, again, because they're very aware of how they treat you. So again, don't feel at any point that you need to stop or that you need to even um, that you need to stop or that you even need to uh, basically not pursue the desires and dreams that you have because you're trying to accommodate your partner. What Spirit is telling you here is with the world card and the sun, you're coming to or going into the next phase of your life. And with this, a lot of new opportunities start to open up. A lot of possibilities are possible. Um, and it's about finding and really sticking through it and deciding and believing in yourself, regardless of what people are saying around you. Um, and, and be methodical in the execution of following your dreams and your desires. Uh, this is for those that are in a relationship. But like I said, for those that are currently single, it's about having opportunities all around and to taking and seizing the moment. Um, I do see a lot of new opportunities for love and romance. I do see you guys, like I said, vibrating to the highest of your frequency and attracting even in a surprising way. Um, you could be, you know, out shopping, grocery shopping or something. Um, and there is like you pretty much catch someone looking at you and you get all giddy or whatever. But you don't really understand that they're like being extremely attracted to you. So you may start to notice that. Um, and again, it's almost like I see you guys being like very oblivious to people trying to get your attention. Now, what Spirit's message here uh, for you, Sagittarius, is study. Uh, reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're thinking of going back to school or perhaps continuing your education or going back to do something that you've done in the past that you're no longer doing. You also have spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. For some of you guys, it could be um, that you're coming out of toxic relationships or that you're coming out of even violent relationships where uh, you start to, unbeknownst to you, be more proactive in women's rights, as an example, or, you know, abusive relationships. Um, and, and you start being more proactive and you start to get traction and you find it very organic the way it's easy for you to communicate or to express. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're shifting your energy and going towards a life path purpose, um, finding your purpose. For some of you guys, it could be that you become an advocate about things that you're very passionate about. For others, it could be that you internally have been going through a long journey and with this experience, you actually turn it into something that becomes monetary for you, that becomes 
and that's not the main motivation so what spirit is saying is that for some of you guys it could be finding your true purpose uh you also have body work your life's perfect uh purpose involves body work such as massage therapy energy healing physical therapy or exercise training so for some of you guys like i said i see a lot of like finding your path finding your calling um it doesn't have to be like uh, body work. I mean, it could be, but not necessarily. This could represent like therapy. It could represent, like I said, being an advocate for, you know, um, domestic violence, uh, being an advocate against, um, you know, helping people that have dealt with drugs and addictions, that type of energy. So again, what spirit is telling you is really hone into that energy and own it. Uh, don't allow other people to diminish your light. And uh, in retrospect, the experiences or difficulties that you've gone through can potentially in the future help other people get out of situations that you went through yourself. So very beautiful cards, Sagittarians. I hope that this helps you guys. I hope it gives you some type of clarity. And again, seize the moment um, when you see uh, people trying to get your attention, you know, don't be so guarded. Open your heart up. You deserve to be happy. You deserve true unconditional love and don't be scared of going after it. So I hope you guys enjoy, like, share and comment and we'll see each other soon. Bye.